Welcome back, YouTubers. In a prior video, I did a demonstration of lightning passing through pure water using a Marx generator, proving that you could actually induce lightning bolts underwater. So this is just an extension of that. I want to see if I can make lightning bolts pass through liquid nitrogen. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this voltage multiplier, which is similar to a Marx generator. I can generate at least two or 300,000 volts. So let me just demonstrate this thing in action. Now we're going to repeat the same thing under liquid nitrogen, which has a much higher resistance compared to air. Here's our setup with the duo vessel. And I brought the electrodes a little closer because there's a chance that they'll jump to the glass envelope of the duo vessel. Now it's time to fill up with liquid nitrogen. Now let's turn on the power. That is incredible. I'm going to increase the distance to see how long I can get that spark to go. For this experiment, I've separated the electrodes more and we're gonna use this large styrofoam container. Here we go. Got the, a good deal of separation on those electrodes. Now for the test. Okay, I had to modify the wire from the prior one because it was jumping across the air. This is high voltage cable. I've lifted the two pieces of wire off the bottom of the cup so that there's no chance that they'll jump through the styrofoam. Let's try it again. sound is really quite interesting. It's very loud. With the electrode separated as such, the chance of the arc jumping through generated gas bubbles is much less likely. There's little black fragments on the bottom are likely pieces of the wire that are getting chipped off because under these temperatures, the plastic on the wire is very brittle. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and support this channel.